What is up everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Sapphire. Last time we went ahead and went to Route 133, 134, I don't know. We just went down to the route uh, west of Pacific Log City and battled some trainers. Today we are going to go ahead and actually uh, do a little uh, short, I guess, side quest you could call it, to unlocking the Reggies. The th uh, three legendary Reggie trio, minus of course our Gigas because he was not in this game, obviously. So, yeah, I noticed this is actually the third episode where we're starting off in Pacific Log Town in, like, this spot, so it's kind of funny. Ha ha ha, see? It's funny because I'm laughing. Okay. Um, so, yeah, like I said, we're going to be unlocking the Reggies. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a Pokemon with, well, I guess, five things. You're going to need a Relicanth. You're gonna need a Waylord, you're gonna need a Pokemon with a Dig, and you're going to need a Pokemon with a Dive as well as obviously Surf, because you can't dive on land. So, yeah, that, that, alright. So, um, basically, um, since Waylord and Relicanth are both, uh, water types, you can just pretty much give, uh, Dig to, um, <laughs> Dig. You can give, uh, Surf and, um, oh, I, I need him. You can give Surf or, um, a Dive to either one of them, so that's, kind of easy. I'm, I guess I'm just gonna switch these out, because I need to give uh, Dig to Zigzagoon. Now, um, in order to catch Relicanth and Whale Lord, now, you could go ahead, catch a Whalemur, level it up to, what, like, level 40, and then evolve it into Whale Lord. You know, use Fishing Rod to catch Whalemur. But the way I always like to do it is, I go ahead and, um, go down to Route 129, um, uh, which is somewhere around this little portion of sea, um, and right there, uh, you have a 1% chance of finding Whale Lord. Now, this may take you anywhere from, I don't know, 5 minutes to, like, an hour and a half. I seriously sat there and I watched, like, Dirty Harry, like, all the way through, looking for a Whale Lord, and I finally found it, like, near the very end of the movie. So, um, yeah. It took a while, but, uh, yeah, I think it's quite a bit better than having to go level it up. Um, Relincanth, I think the best place to catch him is go to Sutopolis City, go, um, and then, like, dive, and then go outside of there, um, and then, like, in, like, the little, like, grass or barnacles or whatever, you can run into, uh, Relicanth, Relincanth. He's quite a bit easier to find than Whale Lord, um, so, yeah. Uh, in order to get Dig, just go ahead, go up to Fall Arbor Town in, in a house in, like, the north, I guess, kind of western side, so, like, the kind of up a little bit to the left. You go inside a house, talk to, the, uh, with, like, a big hole in the back. Um, talk to this girl standing outside of the hole. She'll give you the team for Dig. So, um, I already have all of these things. I'm just going to go ahead and give that, uh, Dig TM to, uh, Zigzagoon. Um, it might be in your best interest to give a, um, to give the Dig TM to, like, a Pokemon who, uh, you want to use it. But in this case, I don't really have a Pokemon that I, I'm, I think Dig's gonna be too useful on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this to Zigzagoon right here. Um, so yeah. Alright, um, in case you were wondering, like, obviously Dig is not an HM, so, like, even though it has a thing it can do out- it can do outside of battle, it is not an HM. It's basically like an ex- it, it's- it, it's basically like an escape rope outside of battle, um, in case you- in case you don't know about that. So after you've gotten all of those things, just go ahead right here. And then surf, and I would imagine you would probably want to spray or repel. I mean, running into like wild Pokemon isn't really involved in all of this. I don't know if I said this earlier, but um, this is definitely probably going to be one of the uh, more uh, the probably one of the shorter episodes in the uh, in, in in the series. So pretty much all, what you want to do is like surf. I guess like kind of stay as far down as you can. Pretty much, I really cannot screw this up because. Um, believe me, I'd, I'd have to go and explain all of that over again, probably, or I could just cut it out and, you know, be lazy, but, yeah, because we all know I'm very good at being, at that. Okay, here, keep surfing down. Alright, then you'll be brought to this little piece of land right here. Um, now... I always forget which one you're supposed to surf on. I mean, what's a little square? Um, it's either this square here or this square here. I saved my game right there because I might have to go back and, like, surf on whatever, you know, square is right. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, let's cross our fingers. Pray we don't have to 
go back and like turns okay surfed on the right square uh, I guess it's two little spots of land you can uh you know surf from so right here obviously it's a little bit darker so you're gonna dive so come down here brought to the underwater boom, 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 boom. get some of that cool underwater music that kind of mysterious underwater music and this is very cryptic this uh, little side quest thing do here to unlock these guys all right so, in case you don't know, this is Braille, and I don't know I have Braille in a game, because obviously there's no, like, little grooves on the screen you can feel, you know, so it's kind of, I wouldn't really help a blind person, now would it? Uh, I actually saw this video, like, this kid, he was blind, he was, like, playing Pokemon Sapphire or something. Well, like, it wasn't, like, centered around him playing Pokemon Sapphire, but it was, you know, whatever. Okay, so right here, um, these stones are actually, I believe... Uh, these have all the different letters of Braille on them, um, if I'm, if I'm correct. So, like, go, and this is, you know, whatever. Um, I believe in the Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald Manual, they actually had, like, the code for Braille. Because, as you can see up here, you're gonna want to stand right here, and there's some more Braille. Now, um, I believe this would actually kind of, like, translate to, like, dig here or something like that. Um... Yeah, but anyways, what we're going to want to do right here is actually just go ahead and use Dig. So this right here is the same in Emerald and Ruby and Sapphire. So as you can see, open up this little passageway right here. And we made this sealed chamber. So, uh, yeah, there's some stuff. I honestly have no idea what this is. Okay, that works fine. Now right here, what you're going to want to do, it says, I believe... Alright, in Emerald, I believe it says, first comes Wailord, last comes Relincanth, and this, in Ruby and Sapphire, it says, first comes Relincanth, last comes Wailord, and I already had that, so that's, yeah, so, that's what you need the Relincanth and Wailord for, um, put the Relincanth in the front of your party, Wailord in the back, um, if you're in Ruby and Sapphire, and then switched around in Emerald, pretty much. So, um, yeah, a little earthquake appeared, that was cryptic as hell, I know, like, it's, how would you be able to figure that out? How would some little eight-year-old kid playing this would... Oh, my God. Um, very cryptic. But we have just... Um, all of those little um, big stones surrounded by the smaller stones that we... The three that we... Um, one was in the desert area. One was on water. And um, one was back in the route um, by... I forgot what it's called. But, uh, yeah, when I was like, wink, wink, well... There is now a little uh, place little hole in those now and uh so yeah that's how you unlock the reggies uh i guess in the next three episodes we will be catching the reggies that was only just over eight minutes long now so uh, yeah thanks for watching this video i will see you all next time i'm sorry for not uploading very much over the this weekend it was my birthday actually today so i kind of was lazy but um yeah thanks for watching and i will see you all next time